Today we are going to discuss one of the important subjects in obstetrics, shock in obstetrics. Definition Shock is a critical condition in which there is life threatening medical emergency. The definition of shock inadequate tissue perfusion below the normal requirements for oxygenation and nutrition of the tissues. Classification Hypovolemic or hemorrhagic shock. This is the most important type of shock. Secondary septic shock. Thirdly, cardiogenic and lastly, this distributive shock. Hypovolemic shock mainly due to loss of blood and sometimes due to loss of fluids. Loss of blood means hemorrhage. Hemorrhage may be in the early pregnancy or in the late pregnancy or after labor. In the early pregnancy, the trade of abortion, ectopic, and the vesicular mole. In late pregnancy, what is called antepartum hemorrhage, placenta previa, and accidental hemorrhage or placental abruption. And the most serious complication is postpartum hemorrhage. Sometimes, hypovolemic shock occurs due to loss of fluids, as in cases of persistent severe hyperemesis gravidarum. Sometimes it occurs in other medical conditions like diarrhea, diabetes, peritonitis, and burns. Septic shock in obstetrics may be due to mainly septic abortion, secondly, chorioamnites, thirdly, perpural sepsis. Or cardiogenic shock, cardiogenic shock mainly due to associated cardiac disease resulting in heart failure or sometimes attacks of myocardial infarctions that occurs in cases of severe toxemia or pregnancy and lastly distributive shock. Pathophysiology Untreated shock progresses through three stages. The first stage compensated shock in which the compensatory mechanism of the body maintains the vital functions and the vital signs as it is. Secondly, decompensated means the maximum compensatory mechanism are acting but tissue perfusion started to be impaired. In this stage, the vital signs impaired and the vital organs start to be affected. But this affection is reversible, means that when the shock is corrected, and the cause is treated, functions return. Sometimes it returns completely, and sometimes some sequelae occurs, like impairment of the renal function, impairment of the cardiac functions, or impairment of the cerebral function. Lastly, third stage or irreversible shock. This is means that all the compensatory mechanisms have been stopped. Tissue damage occurs, and this damage is irreversible, and this may be life-threatening and leads to this. Diagnosis. There is no laboratory test of uh, shock. Uh, there is some vital signs which diagnose shock. Impending shock is characterized by sweating and tachycardia, and then the evident manifestations of shock will occur. Management of shock. There is first aid of shock. Maintains the blood pressure, maintains the patent airway, maintains the breathing. Two white bore cannula, restore circulatory volume, cross match it, blood if needed. Hemorrhagic shock, the cause may be an early pregnancy or postpartum, as we mentioned before. Management of shock is the management of the cause. <coughs> the first line of management of shock depends on early intervention, early management. Don't wait till the shock is severe or irreversible. To start your management, managing your management should start early. The most important cause of shock in obstetrics is postpartum hemorrhage, and here we should transfer the patient to the operating theater, maintain airway, wide bore cannula, gush of fluids, uh, casterization, ecobolics to uh, stimulate uterine contractions, and in emergency cases, operative intervention for ligation of the if the uterine artery or the internal artery or even hysterectomy may be performed. This is a demonstration of a case of rupture uterus.
management of hemorrhagic shock, replacement of the uterus, and other treatment. Acute inversion of the uterus, this is a type of neurogenic shock. Neurogenic shock in obstetrics occurs mainly acute inversion of the uh, uterus and in case of concealed accidental hemorrhage and rupture uterus. Septic shock, this sepsis with hypotension despite adequate fluid resuscitation. To diagnose septic shock, the following criteria must be met. Evidence of infections, robust blood culture, refractory hypotension despite adequate fluid resuscitation. Predisposing factors for shock in for septic shock in obstetrics, post cesarean section, prolonged rupture of membrane or chorioaminonites, retained products of conception, a premature rupture of membrane, and a other retained products of conception, urinary tract infection, or toxic shock syndrome, when a missed towel is present or necrotizing fasciitis, which is a severe case of infection post-operative. Clinical features, symptoms of shock and symptoms of sepsis, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, tachycardia, pallor, peripheral shutdown, systemic inflammation, fever, tachypnea, cold, preference, hypotension, confusion, in severe cases, confusion, oliguria, and altered mental states. Management of septic shock, we should give a broad spectrum antibiotics to cover all the spectrum and <clears throat> most important is removal of the cause in the case of septic abortion I would evacuate the uterus in case of chorioamnites I should uh, do cesarean section and determinate pregnancy in cases of perpural sepsis if there is retained parts it should be removed cardiogenic shock failure of the heart to provide adequate output is tissue under perfusion thank you